Hello, I'm teaching myself to play the mandolin. I've got some books, but uh, I'm sorry to say, I don't really... Uh, I just can't focus on them. It's easier for me to figure it out by ear, but I did look at a few chord shapes. Uh, the first shape I figured out was this G major. Which is like a middle and ring right here. On uh, Middle's on second string, second fret, ring is on first string. Third fret, G major. Then I figured out C, which is like exactly the same thing, just one string towards the ceiling. So you got G and C. Same shape. Here's a cool thing, you can hammer on your middle finger to the second fret. On both chords. And then, of course, you know, if you got G and C, you need a D. So all you got to do for a D is slide your ring finger down to the second fret on the first string. Bring your middle finger to the fourth string, second fret, and hit four strings. That's your D major chord. So we got G, C, D, and G. Um, let's look at that D chord. There's um, some little uh, classic tricks you can do with the D. If you drop your uh, ring finger off, let the first string be open E. That would make it like a D2 or D suspended second. Which sounds kind of uh, unresolved until you bring that ring finger back on. Then you can bring your pinky to the third fret of the first string. It gives you your D suspended, kind of like your John or uh, John Denver chord. Or hey, you've got to hide your love away. It always reminds me of like Rocky Mountain High or Sunshine on my shoulder, or whatever it was. My teacher taught me when I was very young. Sounds like a Led Zeppelin song. So we got G, C, D, G. That's pretty cool. Um, what did I do next? Uh, um, A is a little tricky. A major looks pretty weird. You gotta go uh, third string, second fret with your index finger, and fourth string. 6th fret with your pinky. So it just takes time, you know, you gotta just put in your time with this. You can't, don't get frustrated if it takes, if it is an instant, you're gonna have to spend some time with your instrument. I guess this would be your major third of the A, that pinky note. Must be a C sharp, so if you flat it, you got a C which gives us our A minor chord. So like C major to A minor. That's kind of cool, A minor, C and G sound. Those are in a lot of songs. Oh, uh, I ended up, I did look at a book and figure out F sharp minor. Which is pretty cool. I mean, that's a weird shape. It's this one kind of, you know, your hand, my hand is getting a little bit tired as I get older here. But uh, this uh, F sharp minor 
would sound really good with your A. So you got your index finger on the first string, second fret. Make sure I do this right. Oops. There it is. Okay. First finger, first string, second fret, second finger, four, uh, third string, uh, fourth fret, and pinky on the fourth string, sixth fret. So you got your A major. Sharp minor took me some time. I had a little trouble figuring out the E, but I looked at my D chord and realized if I go up two frets, I've got part of it, but I need to bar to get the lower part or the lower frets. So I'm going to bar across the second fret with my index finger, bring in ring and pinky here. Hopefully, I do this right. Oh boy. A little confused for a second. I forgot. There it is. So if D looks like this, E would look like this. It's kind of like you use your first finger as a capo and make your D shape here. So you got uh, A, F sharp minor, D. Then you can start, okay, so I'm just sort of rambling here as I often do. Then I, I uh, got a lot of good sound just use making a major scale. This seems to be a G string. This does not stay in tune very good. This is a $40 mandolin, um, but yeah, I'm having fun with it. So G major, it's good old Do, do Re Mi. figure that out. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Most people don't want to do that. And then they're like, why can't I play? Well, you just got to get your major skills happening, guys. G chord, this must be a G note. G scale, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. That's just like a guitar, and this is an E string. That that's at least gives us a reference point. I just drill, I've always drilled, practiced, uh, exercised, things like this. Simple, simple, repetitive exercises. I just don't see people doing that, so, and they're wondering, well, how does it work? How do I make music? You have to get your hands working. You have to get your ears working. They have to work together. You have to coordinate two hands with your ears. So it takes just a lot of listening. Up the scale, down the scale. Then you to do a, to go to the other strings, it's different than guitar. You gotta go like uh, they're tuned in fifth, so I just figured it out as a shape. It's like a five, seven, three. Five on the second string. Seven on the second string. Three on the first string. So 
So I just sound it out, you know, your pentatonic scale. There's another G, which is identical, well, an octave of this, I guess, of the, of the fourth string. So if you can connect this G string, the fourth string, with, to this high note, then we're going to have a big old pattern here. We are, we are. Let's see if I can do it. So, try to sound it out. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. figure that out if you just hang out with your mandolin. Oh, I made, made a mistake. That's okay. And now I learned something. Hopefully. Ah, skipped a note. frets are tiny. Man, look at them dinky frets. So I got into a blues scale there. Anyhow, I'm rambling. I'm having fun. It's a $40 Rogue mandolin. It says Rogue Fine Instruments right on there. Rogue. Anyhow, I'm really having fun with mandolin. I have one student, and we are really having fun playing. Um, this thing just goes out of tune pretty quick. It's only a bummer. But, so, you know, I might want to get it a more expensive mandolin sometime all right that was fun see you later